Hi, this is Tony Epple and today I'm going to show you how you can use the Visual Library in combination with the Notes API to display properties of a domain object. So the idea is you have a Visual Library scene that displays some object and uh, you click on one of the widgets that represent these objects and you will get the properties of the object displayed in the properties view so you can edit them. That is very simple if you use explore views but uh, we want to do it with the visual library scene. So in order to do that I've created this node widgets top component here and uh, we'll first have a look how it uh, how it will look like what we, where we want to get. So here I'm, I have my node widgets window with two widgets, simple label widgets, and um, I can select them and um, what we want to see is we want to have the properties displayed. Open the properties window, double click and here you can see the properties or you can even select multiple uh, objects at once and you will see here different values which indicates <clears throat> that you have more than one uh, object in the lookup, that you have more than one node in the lookup. So how do we do this? The basic idea is to create, to use an explorer manager, like uh, when you're doing it with explorer views, to uh, expose the lookups of the selected nodes and the selected nodes themselves. So what we do is we create an explorer manager with a root node and um, we use Explorer Utils to associate the lookup uh, created from this Explorer Manager with our top component. So very standard, like you do it with the Explorer View. Um, the node is also just an abstract node that uh, has his children created from a child factory. Get the child factory here. And the child factory is also very simple. And the important part, the only important part here is that you can set the keys. So what we will do is when someone selects some objects in the scene, we will grab these objects, call set keys here on our fake child factory. And uh, this will refresh our child factory. It will call refresh and refresh, calling refresh in the child factory means that the children object will refresh itself. So later on, we will ask the root node for the current for its current nodes, so which are basically the nodes representing the selected objects, the currently selected objects, and tell the explorer manager that these are the selected nodes. So let's have a look how we do it. So here object scene is created. And on this scene, we add an object listener. And whenever the selection changes, this method will be called. And we get passed in the new selection. So we can call child factory set keys, new selection. And then we ask the root node for its children, get the nodes that we've just updated, and Tell the Explorer Manager that these are the currently selected nodes by calling set selected nodes. That's it. So check out this project on GitHub and uh, there's also more information on my blog and enjoy coding.